Today on Toysh's The Devourer of Worlds is nigh. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. The Marvel Legends team, of course, took to their early social media, early, early this morning, Friday morning, along with the New York Times, to kind of hint at something that may have been hinted at late last night, but you know what? We weren't paying attention. <laughs> Especially Dwight with his amazing photo right here. That is just the best thing ever. But yeah, we're going to talk about the brand new Marvel Legends HasLab. And as they've teased before, it has something to do with the Fantastic Four. So we had Dan and Dwight this morning talking us all through it. Fortunately, Ryan Ting could not be here. He's got a brand new baby. So congratulations on that, my man. That's awesome. And then they were joined by the original toy bizzer himself, Jesse Falcon, and Ryan Penegos from Marvel, talking about the brand new HasLab Galactus figure. And this thing is a giant mamajama of a figure right here. As you can see through the diagrams of just showing off a Mr. Fantastic, he is fantastic and it was really fun because you know jesse falcon having worked on the old toy biz figures he brought out the original paint master from the original build a figure galactus so that's always cool to see they had a lot of fun it was great just kind of seeing four people just having a blast with a giant friggin toy but you're probably all here wondering okay go ahead Walk us through this. How is this going to affect my wallet for this weekend? Well, you're looking at a 32-inch Galactus right there. From horns to feet, or I guess you'd say antlers to feet, which is 812.8 millimeters tall. Even on my Instagram post, I accidentally put the M instead of the double M. And people actually thought that, yes, it would be 812 meters tall. So go figure on that one, right? 70 points of articulation, 20 points of articulation in each hand. So he can grab a figure, crush it, and then drop it. <laughs> LED lights in the head and the chest. Of course, you're going to need four AAA batteries, which are not included. Don't get too hung up on that. It is a lot easier when shipping, especially international, all that kind of stuff. You don't want the hiccup of batteries in your shipment. That's not a thing. You can go buy four triple a batteries in fact go check your battery bag drawer i'm sh whatever you got you got some in there he has three swappable face plates which is cool so he's got like galactus face like yeah i'm hungry and then he's got like hangry face and then he's got like the marvel zombies aka starving face so that is just solid win through and through i want this i want for the zombie face right there it's going in my marvel zombies case that is uh well i guess he can't fit in a case but you know what i mean he'll stand guard somehow he is the largest marvel legends figure to date between toy biz and hasbro and he's gonna have a handful of stretch goals that i'd love to see of which jesse falcon himself he touted that the last one is the coolest one so we need to get this going <laughs> <laughs> they also mentioned that he could have uh, troop building capabilities, perhaps turning him into like a celestial or something like that. I have no idea. You can comment below. Let me know your ideas on that little tidbit. How much is this going to cost me, Toysha? Stop talking about all the details. $400 plus tax. $400 includes the shipping and all that jazz. Tax will apply on where you live and state and country or whatever else. But yeah, 400 big ones plus tax that's what it's going to set you back it's available right now july 16th and you have until august 30th to find the casholas to buy this guy if you want it and what as of right now i think nearly 800 people have backed it so far that's as of this so last time the sentinel funded in like under 24 hours this one's on its way already they said they have a ton of stretch goals this time around so that's a good update right there i want to see Harold's figures i want to see silver server i want a little notch on his shoulder so silver server can kind of like sit there with his board or zoom around him i don't know attachment pieces extra heads hands i want the whole shebang what do you want comment below let me know let's talk everything marvel legends galactus and will you be funding this big old mamma jamma figure dwight was even nice enough he pulled out the new sentinel showed him off in a height comparison Galactus is definitely the taller figure, which is 
Yeah. But I would expect to see you. So thank you to everyone, Dan, Dwight, Jesse, and Ryan. That was pretty fun. That was great to see you guys just rocking out, having fun, showing off all the Galactuses. I'm going to pull out my Silver Surfer animated series Galactus later today. I'll have some photos up on my feed. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, $400 is expensive. Don't let anyone make you feel bad if you can't afford it. It's not a big deal. There will be toys for years to come. Or you can go back and get another Galactus. Or chances are you already have a Galactus on your shelf. People out there, don't make others feel bad if they can't afford this. This is all toy nonsense. This is not a big deal. It's not detrimental. So, again, take care of what you need to take care of. Bills, your family, food, all that kind of stuff. And if you can't afford it, don't worry about it. It is not a big deal. And for those of you out there that are going to harass and do whatever you do, and, oh, why can't you afford it? Please. Enough. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.